New tonight at 6, behind me, a photo of Gracie Leanne Dimmitt. Following her death in July of 2020, her parents filed a wrongful death complaint against Emory and Henry College, where she was a senior at the time. She died while participating in what her parents claim is hazing by the college-controlled sorority Kappa Phi Alpha. And that was a, a sorority that Gracie was a part of. News Channel 11's Bianca Murray spoke with one of the family's attorneys. The complaint was filed last month here in Abingdon at the Washington County Courthouse. I'm told the goal of the lawsuit is to prevent any other family from experiencing the loss and grief that the Dimmits have. The lawsuit claims that Gracie participated in an activity called the Emory 500 or the 500. The point of the 500 was to go, especially on Itabetta Road, as fast as possible and to force the car to drift. And it's a tradition that we believe they go fast as fast as they can during the Emory 500 because that's why it's called the 500. <laughs> As seen in videos taken from Gracie's phone, people are seen hanging out of car windows during the 500. Gracie was a member of the Kappa Phi Alpha sorority, which is, according to the school's website, controlled by Emory and Henry College as opposed to being a national sorority. Her parents believed this to be a form of hazing because the lawsuit indicates members had no choice but to participate. After she died, the Demets were informed that she died after, while doing the 500, the Emory 500. Um, they had never heard of it before. According to the complaint, Emory and Henry used its Greek system as a marketing tool to attract students, including Gracie, with representations of an active and safe social life at Emory and Henry. The lawsuit states that as a member of KPA, Gracie was encouraged by Emory and Henry to participate in a number of hazing activities, including physical beatings, zip tying members to one another and consuming massive quantities of alcohol, and sleep deprivation, among others. The college website website shows a policy against hazing. The school says it's dedicated to preventing and eradicating it. The Demets don't want this to happen to, to anyone else's daughter or son. They feel very strongly that, that college needs to be fun, but it needs to be safe. And they want changes made so that this doesn't happen to somebody else. School officials declined an interview, but Emory and Henry Vice President for Administration Mark Graham said in a statement, the loss of Gracie DeMitt is one that weighs heavy on many hearts at the college. She was an exemplary student and friend to many and is remembered fondly. This was a tragic car accident that took place in the summer of July 2020 during the pandemic when the college was shut down and only conducting online classes. Losses. The complaint listed six counts of negligence. One count of hazing is also mentioned. Virginia law forbids any form of hazing at an institution for higher education like Emory and Henry. Don't assume that your child will automatically be safe because they come here. Because they're not until something is done about what's going on in the Greek system. Morrison has known Gracie since she was a little girl. He grew up with Gracie's father. Gracie Dimmitt was what you want your daughter to grow up to be. She was sweet. She was kind. She taught Sunday school. She was sunshine. Just when Gracie walked in the room, it was like a ray of sunshine. Emory and Henry officials were served with a complaint on May 20th. They have 30 days to formally respond to the suit. In Abingdon, Bianca Murray, News Channel 11. Lauren Nicole Salyer, Gracie's then 21-year-old sorority sister, was driving when Gracie died. Salyer was charged with involuntary manslaughter. A jury trial has been set for July in Abingdon.